Our objective for this lesson is to solve logarithmic inequalities. I suggest you take time to watch my video lessons on these topics to fully comprehend today's lesson. Let's have a review first of logarithmic expression. Once again, it is a mathematical expression consisting of logarithm. The base is greater than 0 but not equal to 1 and x is greater than 0. So this is natural logarithm. It is a logarithm whose base is e. And this one is a common logarithm. It is understood that the base here is 10. Let us also review logarithmic inequality. It is an inequality in which one or both sides involve a logarithm. This one is called compound inequality. Let's review the rules in inequalities. Dividing or multiplying both sides of the inequality by a positive number does not affect the inequality symbol. However, dividing or multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative number reverses the inequality symbol. Here are the properties of logarithmic inequalities. Given the logarithmic expression, the logarithm of x to the base b, if b is greater than 1, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 if and only if the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is less than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. It follows that x sub 1 is greater than x sub 2 if and only if the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is greater than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. So in here, if the base is greater than 1, then the inequality symbol is retained. Now, if your b is less than 1 but greater than 0, then x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 if and only if the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is greater than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. Also, x sub 1 is greater than x sub 2 if and only if the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is less than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. In here, if your base is less than 1 but greater than 0, the inequality symbol is reversed. You'll understand more of this as I go through the examples later. Let us start solving. Let's have first base is greater than 1. So the logarithm of x to the base 3 is less than 4. First step. Ensure that the logarithm is defined. Remember that your x should be greater than 0. Next, I'm going to express 4 as a logarithm whose base is 3. Whenever your base and your x are the same, the answer to this expression is the exponent of your x. So the answer here is also 4, as if I did not change anything. Next step. Ensure that the inequality is satisfied. And how are we going to do that? We analyze our base. Our base here is 3, and 3 is greater than 1. Then, x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 because the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is less than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. So we have x is less than 3 to the 4th power. Notice there is no changes in the inequality symbol. Again, that is because our base is greater than 1. And 3 to the 4th is 81. Now we have two conditions here. Let us plot them in a number line. So let's start first with x is greater than 0. So here is 0. Greater than 0 is going to the right. Then we have x is less than 81. So here is 80, so somewhere here. And then less than going to the left. And then we're going to find the intersection of these two graphs. Because we are going to state our solution set. And our solution set is the intersection of these two graphs. So that is from 0 to 80 
1. So our solution set is from 0 to 81. Both parentheses because there is no or equal to. This is in interval form. Let's have set builder notation. So the set of all x such that x is an element of real number where x is less than 81 but greater than 0. Let's have another example. So here we have two x's. Let us ensure that the logarithms are defined. So first one, we have 2x plus 3 is greater than 0. Moving 3 to the other side, 2x is greater than negative 3. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. So x is greater than negative 3 over 2. For the other x here, we have 3x is greater than 0. So let us divide both sides by 3. 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. So x is greater than 0 divided by 3 is, is still 0. Since the bases are greater than 1, there will be no changes in the inequality symbol. So to solve for x, let us move 3x here. So 2x minus 3x is negative x. Divide both sides by negative 1. So negative divided by negative is positive. Negative divided by negative is positive. But don't forget, when you divide a negative number in an inequality, the inequality symbol reverses. So this will become x is less than 3. So this time we have three conditions. Let us plot them in a number line. So let's start with x is greater than negative 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is 1.5. So negative 1.5 greater than going to the right. Then we have x is greater than 0. This is 0 going to the right. And then we have x is less than 3. So here is 3 going to the left. Now let us determine the intersection of these three graphs. That would be our solution set. So that is from 0 to positive 3. Again, both are in parentheses because there is no or equal to. So in set builder notation, this will be x is less than 3 but greater than 0. Let us have another one. So again, first step, ensure that the logarithms are defined. So we're going to set our x greater than 0. In here, x plus 6 is greater than 0. Moving 6 to the other side, x is greater than negative 6. And then let us solve the inequality. Let me copy first this. And then for 1, I'm going to express this as a logarithm whose base is 3. So this will be the logarithm of 3 to the base 3. Basic property of logarithm, when x is equal to b, the answer here is 1. And then here, I'm going to apply power law. So this 2 will be moved up here. It will become the exponent of x. And then on this side, I'm going to apply product law. So this can be simplified into the logarithm of quantity x plus 6 times 3. So now my bases are the same and they are greater than 1. So there will be no changes in the inequality symbol. So x squared is less than or equal to the quantity x plus 6 times 3. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 6 is 18. Quadratic in form, let us move everything on one side. Then let us determine the factors. So we have x minus 6 times x plus 3. Quick check. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So these factors are correct. Remember the zero factor property. If a times b is equal to 0, then it's either a or b is equal to 0. So if I'm going to make a, which is x minus 6 less than or equal to 0, then it follows that the other factor, x plus 3, is greater than or equal to 0. Another possible condition is x plus 3 is less than or equal to 0, then the other factor, x minus 6, is greater than or equal to 0. 
For the first condition, solving for x, so this will be x is less than or equal to 6. And in here, x is greater than or equal to negative 3. For the second condition, this will be x is less than or equal to negative 3. And x is greater than or equal to 6. Let's have first the first condition. So let's plot them in a number line. Let's start with x is less than or equal to 6. So this is 6 going to the left. This is shaded because there is or equal. And then we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So negative 3 greater than, that's going to the right. Again, shaded because there is or equal. Let us determine the intersection. For the second condition, so x is less than or equal to negative 3. So this is negative 3 less than going to the left. Then this one, x is greater than or equal to 6. So this is 6 going to the right. There is no intersection here. So we are going to choose the first condition. Let us recall the first two conditions that we have to satisfy. x is greater than 0. So this is 0 going to the right. And then x is greater than negative 6. So this is negative 6 also going to the right. Now let us determine the new intersection of these four graphs. So this will be transferred here. So this is the solution set from 0 to 6. 6 is included. So solution set 0 to 6. This is parenthesis because there is no shaded circle here. And this is bracket because of this shaded circle here. In set builder notation, this will be x is less than or equal to 6 but greater than 0. This time, let us have base is less than 1. So we have the logarithm of x to the base 0 0.5 is greater than 5. Again, first step, let us ensure that the logarithm is defined. So let us set x greater than 0. Next, I'm going to express 5 as a logarithm whose base is 0 0.5. So the logarithm of 0 0.5 raised to 5 to the base 0 0.5. Basic property of logarithm, when your x is equal to your b, the answer to this expression is the exponent of your x. So nothing changed. Next step, let us ensure that the inequality is satisfied. And to do that, let us analyze our base. Our b here is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is less than 1. Therefore, our x sub 1 is less than x sub 2 because the logarithm of x sub 1 to the base b is greater than the logarithm of x sub 2 to the base b. So we have x is less than 0 0.5 raised to 5. You see there is changes in the inequality symbol from greater than it become less than. It is because our base is less than 1. Now, I'll convert this into fractional form. This is 1 half and then 1 raised to the fifth power is still 1 and 2 to the fifth power is 32. Let us plot them in a number line. Let's start with x is greater than 0. So 0 greater than going to the right. And then 1 over 32 is approximately equal to 0 0.031. So here, then less than going to the left. Next, let us determine the intersection of these two graphs. That would be our solution set. And the intersection is from 0 to 0 0.031 or 1 over 32. So our solution set is 0, 1 over 32. In set builder notation, that is x is less than 1 over 32 but greater than 0. Next example, so first let us set our x greater than 0. Let us divide both sides by 3, so 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. 0 divided by 3 is 0, so x is greater than 0. Then we have here 2x plus 3 is greater than 0, moving 3 to the other side. Now let us divide both sides by 2, 
2 and 2 will be cancelled out. X is greater than negative 3 over 2. Now, our base is less than 1, so there will be changes in the inequality. So, we will be having 3x is greater than 2x plus 3. So, from less than, it becomes greater than. So, to solve for x, first let us move 2x here. 3x minus 2x is x greater than 3. Now, let us use the number line. So, let's start first with x greater than 0, 0 going to the right. And then, negative 3 over 2, that is negative 1.5 greater than, so going to the right also. Then, x is greater than 3, so this is 3 going to the right. Now, let us determine the intersection. That is our solution set. So, from 3... Going to the right means 3 to positive infinity or values of x that are greater than 3. Now, let us have compound inequality. First, I'm going to express this into a common logarithm such as this one. So, this is also equivalent to the logarithm of 10 raised to negative 3. Since the base here is 10, this is a common logarithm, so basic property x is equal to b, then the answer here is the exponent. So that is negative 3. And then this one is 10 raised to 3. Now, I'm going to split the compound inequality into two simple inequalities. I'll start with this one. And then, since my base here is 10, so there will be no changes in my inequality symbol. So 10 raised to negative 3 is less than x. Now, for this one, since the base is also 10, and that is greater than 1, there will be no changes in the inequality symbol. So I'll be having x is less than 10 cubed. So I'll combine them. And then I'm going to make my exponent positive. So I'm going to bring the whole expression down. So this will be 1 over 10 cubed. And 10 cubed is 1,000. So 1 over 1,000. And this one is also 1,000. This is now my solution set. Rewriting this in set builder notation, it looks like this. And in interval notation, it will be from 1 over 1,000 to 1,000. Here are the tips for solving logarithmic inequalities. Be extra careful when solving inequalities because the inequality symbol is based whether your base is greater than 1 or less than 1. So if the base is greater than 1, the direction of the inequality does not change. But if the base is less than 1, the direction of the inequality is reversed. Also, make sure that the logarithms are defined. That is, having x greater than 0 and b greater than 0 but not equal to 1. Now, let us check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So first, let us set this greater than 0. So moving this to the other side, x is greater than 4. Now let us solve the inequality. So first, I'm going to express this into a logarithm whose base is 2. So you have the log of 2 to the fifth power to the base 2. Now since the base is 2 and that is greater than 1, there will be no changes in the inequality symbol. So x minus 4 is less than or equal to 2 to the fifth power. So, 2 to the 5th is 32. Let's move this. 32 plus 4 is 36. Now, let us plot. So, x greater than 4. Here is 4 greater than going to the right. And then, less than or equal to 36. Or equal, so it should be shaded going to the left. Now, let us determine the intersection. That is our solution set. So, that is from 4 to 36. 36 included. In set builder notation, this will be x is less than or equal to 36 but greater than 4. Gets?